Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use the mode function in order to find the most common value within a list in Excel. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com search for this video tutorial and you can download the workbook there. So what I've got here is a sample list. Say it's I have product IDs here and the date it was sold here. Now for um, this function to work correctly it's only going to be able to uh, find the most common number in a list so it's not going to work with text so well. So um, and say this is all imported from a CSV file from uh, I don't know a point of sale system or something similar to that and for some reason the sales data is not aggregated in real life it probably will be but say it's not here. So let me zoom in real quick and um, you have a data sheet, say it's like a control panel or a master worksheet where you like to have a few statistics. So you'd like to know what the most popular item was for the day. So let's go ahead and use the mode function to figure that out. It is simply equals M O D E mode open parentheses and then simply select the range with all of your data. Once you've selected that range you can hit enter and then you'll get the mode function or you'll get the response. So the number one item sold in this day was item number 118. Now this could be a product number right and then right here you could have a VLOOKUP that references a product workbook and you could pull in the product's actual name as well as price and all this other info. But the basic syntax is right here so equals mode select your range and if you'd like to select multiple ranges or um, simply multiple individual cells separate them with a comma. So that's really all there is to this function. It's really easy to do and it's really helpful just to get some quick statistics. And Like I said combine this with a VLOOKUP over here and it's going to be great. Um, let's see some other things you could use this for are to see um, say like what movie shows are most popular. Right, You could have the times up here and then see which time was most popular or when you're doing any uh, kind of statistical analysis you need to see what number was repeated most. So that's it for this tutorial and I'll leave you with that.